Hey guys, Colorado Fisher here. Another episode. We are back fly fishing. It is early spring. Uh, the flows are pretty low, so we're gonna go with uh, small presentations. The water is clear, so we're gonna make a stealthy approach. Uh, we're gonna use Vita says nymphs, small uh, presentations that aren't hatching out of the water yet. So let's get at it and see how we do out here. Hope you enjoy. clear and I think we're gonna have to search for them in areas that are opposite of us so I'm gonna try to go over there make a stealthy approach and try to let it drift around that rock really slippery by the way Sometimes you gotta hunt for them, and that means going down some uh, steep stuff. Uh, wish me luck, it ain't an easy one. It's still all wet from the snow that was just here a week ago. We got this. Oh man, that is not in the ground. Should have just gone down a little more, but hey, you know, I like taking the uh, harder way down. Decisions. Go further, take longer, shoot for it, get to the car quicker. Lost my leader and everything. It got wrapped so bad it wasn't worth saving. Just cut it off. I think I'm gonna choose this route because there's enough rock to grip with my feet, I think. Oh boy. Here we go. Take you guys on the journey with me. So you can see me eat crap. This isn't gonna go well. I can see it already. Yeah. Unfortunate thing is with crawling, but we did it. That's where we just came from. Woohoo! Expert crawler, guys. Expert craw crawler. I'm gonna check out more of these runs because they do produce um, for me all year round, usually. But the water is low, so this is gonna have to be a something we experiment with. Always check your uh, always check your flies for a uh, beads. You want to show the fish a natural presentation, and usually they don't want to hit something that is full of weed because it, well, let's face it, doesn't look realistic. So about every four or five casts, check it out and make sure there's nothing on there. That was a quick take, guys. Real tough bite. That is maybe just a bull that it's at. I gotta really do a good job it. Hiding. Oh, 
he hit the uh, the big fly. I am surprised. I am surprised to say the least. Nothing big. I mean, this river doesn't um, have big fish. We are going to let him go. Sweet. Well, I didn't get the hook set, guys, but we did get another from that hole over there. Oh, he hit the worm, the San Juan. Out of season, but that's okay. Here he is. Lift up that rod. Lift up that rod. And scoop it right in. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Keep them in the water as long as you can. So you don't stress them. Alright okay, guys, we let him go. Swim freely. <laughs> there you guys go. We caught we caught it on two different flies now. Can we get a can we get it? Another one on the zebra bait. That was a little bit bigger. We'll try to see if we can get some browns. That would be the most awesomest. That is a crazy tree. I don't know how it hasn't fallen in yet. What a beautiful river. Guys, peaceful day. Looks like a storm is coming. I'm not too far from the car. I do like to move around. Makes it a lot more fun. brown a golden brown guys we got him yes we did wet your hands look at this golden nugget look at this golden nugget guys Wow. Now we got to make our way back through, uh, we got to make our way back to the car. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. This was our first outing fly fishing. I think we ended up with a brown and a couple of rainbows. Not a bad first outing. Uh, I wouldn't take it any other way unless it was more fish, of course. But uh, it's getting cold out here. The wind is getting really high. The river is really low, as you can see behind me. So we're gonna come back here um, right before the runoff to be killer. Today's flies were definitely small, zebra midge, two bit hooker, and a San Juan. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm, I'll see you next time.